Hey guys, it's Brad here. Today we're doing a quick setup video for the RSX7 Slingshot Crossbow. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver, a small adjustable wrench, and we include this 5mm hex key as part of the package. First off, let's get things started with the handle. We'll be using this cog and the trigger. Let's start by placing the barrel over the handle. Next up, you can see that I'm aligning the cog with the second hole to the left. In it goes, and then finally pushing the screw through the back. The last step here is to attach the small spring to the notch right above the trigger. Next, we'll attach the longer of the two springs to the trigger. Notice how there's two holes on the far right of the barrel. We're going to be using the one at the bottom. In it goes. Get hold of one of the longer screws. Attach the spring. Job done. Here's a closer look, just so you can see the final position of the assembly. Here are the springs. Just take note of the position of the teeth on the top of the cog. See how they're facing up. At this point, we can now add the top part of the handle, sandwiching everything together, and then it's just a case of using the remaining screws and nuts to make sure that everything's secure. Okay, that's all done. Uh, there were nine screws and nine nuts in total. We'll put that to one side and work on this middle section that will house the slingshot bands and the guide wheels. I've got an assembled one here, just so you can see what it looks like. There's two small guide wheels at the back and two larger ones at the front. This handle should come assembled. If it doesn't, there's around five screws with three at the top connecting the handle to the top section. It's pretty straightforward. There's three screws in the handle and three holes to connect them to. Okay, so for the front guide wheel, you'll use the black hex screw, followed by the wheel, then a single nut at the bottom. For the rear wheel, you'll be using the black hex screw, one silver nut, slot that in, and then finally a second nut right at the bottom. Okay, looking good so far. At this point, we can connect the middle section to the barrel. It should slide on with no resistance, and as you can see, it should move freely backwards and forwards. Let's move on to the bands. You see here that I've got four sets ready to go, two on each side. You'll take the two ends of the rubber band and use the small one to secure them in place. Repeat the process for all four bands and now we're ready to hook everything up. Feed the cable around the two rear guide wheels and then stretch the end slightly so that they can slide into the black grooves. Next, stretch them over the front guide wheel and repeat the process for all four sets until it looks something like this. You can load the ball bearings in the small opening at the end of the barrel. They'll run down and the spring will hold them in place. There's also a magnet inside the barrel, so once you cock the slingshot and a ball bearing drops into the chamber, there's no chance of it falling out. At this point, you can fire off a few test shots. I'm indoors, so let's not break any windows today. Next up, for those of you who purchased our Pro model, here's how to install the mount, scope, and folding stock. It's pretty straightforward. The stock has a notch which acts as a guide. Simply slide it onto the back of the handle, and you'll hear it click into place, and then wedge it firmly down. Finally, we've got the scope. To save some time, I've already installed the mounts. It's pretty straightforward. There's just two small hex bolts at the bottom. 
The scope goes on top and then use the top part of the mount to hold everything in place. And it should end up looking something like this. Okay, there you go. That wasn't too bad. That's all from me today. If you run into any problems with setup or installation, just ping me a note at brad at hammersurvival.com and I'll get you up and running in no time. Cheers guys, see you soon.